winning this competition, we're trying to build a legacy for the School of Engineering. We won fifth place last year, we've won third place previously, we've won documentation awards, we've won TASTL awards, you know. We want to be there first and we want to be the fastest ones off the course. You know, start early, start fast, start strong. You know, you get to the competition, you roll through the gravel road and you know, there everyone's waiting. You see the big NASA rocket, the Saturn rocket. You see the course. Everyone's excited. You don't know what's going to happen and it's kind of like we want to be as most sure of how you know the rover functions on the course. This year, I, I really do believe that we have what it takes. We put in our all the documentation. We put in our all into this rover. We did a lot of research. We're making sure that we're checking all of our boxes and staying on top of things. Last year's was a side by side rover. This year, it's front to back, so it's a lot longer. It's also a lot lighter as well. There's more carbon fiber, uh, more aluminum. And in doing so, the biggest improvement for us this year is creating a full carbon fiber chassis, which allows us to get even closer to that minimal weight possible. And along the way, we're also going to try and win the lightweight award, which means getting the best scores overall, but also doing so at the lightest rover possible. It being the 30th anniversary, I think has set a fire in all of our hearts to be able to do it. I'd feel so relieved that we were able to, like, we worked so hard to be able to get this far and be able to see like all the problems that we had last year and just be able to know that we did that ourselves. We saw the mistakes we made and we overcame all of them. Seeing it go around the course is, is the, the best part. And once it gets to the end, everyone's cheering because you're like, we made it. So that's, that's where you know, most of that excitement comes from. So I think it will be definitely nerve wracking, intense, um, exciting, and just Rally has already kind of set in right now, but once we get there, I think it will really hit us as to how much work we put into this and how it's going to be laid out once we get on the course. The thrill of competing and going on the course was very exhilarating. So not only does the rover go over obstacles, they also park and participate in task sites. These task sites are done using a multi-task tool, which is equipped to the rover during competition. And it's my job to not only create that, but also train our pilots and make sure we gain all the points possible from those sites. Above all else, have a great team that well gelled together, has fun, and able to say, you know, we all played a pivotal role in making this rover come together. I enjoyed all of the camaraderie. Again, global competition, but being able to meet people from um, the Dominican Republic, from Singapore, and all over the same thing um, is, is really fun. I want to be able to introduce other people to this thing and be like, look how cool this is. Aren't you excited about it?